What's up guys, PDC here, and today we are going to be narrating over my week 4 DPP SPL match against Smogan Tour winner, 19 winner, Marshall Law, a very real respected player, known for his very innovative, sometimes odd builds, very good at uh, breaking the paradigm of things in DBPOU, and really using odd and creative stuff, which we will see in this game today, if not to excess. So... This week, I was decided to play in DVP, and as you guys know, there is no team preview, so we're just going to go ahead and start off with the lead selection, which is going to be Gyarados, and on his side is going to be Smeargle, which for some reason is taking a little while to load. Now, when I saw this matchup, I thought, oh god, this is really bad, because I'm going to be slower, and he's just going to be able to spore me, put some to sleep, and annoy the living hell out of me. But Marshall instead decides just to go for the Stealth Rock and Spikes combination two turns in a row. So, Smeargle is dead, and my Gyarados, which, if you can't tell from the damage, is Choice Banded. Even though Smeargle is really frail, it doesn't die to a, a regular adamant uh, waterfall. So I'm going to switch out here as he brings in Starmie. This is an uh, interesting team. This is actually the team I used versus McMegan in uh, so my Smogan Tour run, and I just decided to reuse it here. So he brings out his Starmie, goes ahead and goes to the Thunder Wave, and he goes out to his Tyranitar. Now, I decided to double back to my CB Gyarados here, knowing that chances are he would not stay in, and he would probably bring out something like Titar or a bulky ground type. Um, so I just decided to double back and see if I can get the advantage. I actually get a kill here with my CB Waterfall. He might have predicted me to go for the Payback or Earthquake there, and my CB Waterfall, if it wasn't obvious already, is absolutely fucking strong. And it just destroys that T-Tar, which I assume was Choice Band. Um, it could have been Dragon Dance, but I don't really know. Now, he's going to go for the Hydro Pump here. Seeing this Starmie as Thunder Wave, it is probably a bulky variant with T-Wave, Hydro Pump, Rapid Spin, and Recover. I'm just going to go ahead and buy me some time and just keep Water falling here i don't really have that much of a use for gyarados it got two kills for me and a race tyranitar which i thought was really good i'm just gonna go out to my rota here as he decides to go for another recover i decided to keep my gyarados as a sacrifice or maybe if i need to get it another hit or something like that it can be in the back now he goes out to his magnezone which as soon as i saw magnezone i figured that his last with a starmie hazard plus magnezone combination would probably be a dd dragonite or it could be maybe an agility zap though although magnezone doesn't make that much sense with that combination but um he's gonna actually go ahead and go for the scout here i am actually hp ground rotom and martial law i don't know if he i think he knew the team because i remember he told me after the game he recognized it but he manages to scout the hp ground and he brings out his Starmie once again. Now, he's going to switch out here and go out to his Spiritomb on my Thunderbolt. Now, this is, again, the very odd team. A Smeargle Spiritomb build is, is weird, first of all. I actually like Spiritomb in that it is a ghost type that can spin and is not weak to Pursuit. And it has Pursuit itself, so it can Pursuit other ghost types. It can Pursuit Gengar. And it's actually pretty bulky. I've actually been meaning to use it, but I'm just going to go out to my Dragonite here. He does not have Pursuit on this one, and he's just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Now, my Dragonite is a Mixed Knight, a very, very, very strong Pokemon, especially with, uh, I believe this is the strongest Draco Meteor in TPP, except for something like Specs Kingdra. Um... And I'm just going to go for it. Now, he predicts me, I guess, to go for a Fire Blast or something. And I just decided to go and drop a Draco. Oh, my God. And Starmie gets faded and dies. Now, he's going to go to his Spirit Tomb again, which is obviously going to be able to tank the Draco Meteor this time around. But it would still do a decent amount, which it does. It does a nice, clean 32%. And he's going to probably be able to kill me here, which he does. I was a little afraid of Calm Mind, which would have been kind of hard to deal with, considering I didn't really have a way to break through sweep, uh, setup sweepers that are that bulky, especially with CB. Gyarados so low, and that's really my only breaker. But um, I'm just going to switch into it here, and I am going to go for the Waterfall and get rid of the Spirit Tomb. Gyarados is on its last leg here. I don't really need it much anymore, and considering I'm up um, at, by a considerable amount, by 5 to 2, it's you know it's looking pretty good for me. Until he brings out on Yon Mega. Now here's a fun fact about this team. I have a total of 2 Pokemon left, which can confidently take a Yon Mega attack. And one of them is paralyzed, so he kills my Gyarados, and now I'm left with really no great way of defending this. Now, I decide to bring out my Jirachi here, my Expert Belt Fire Punch Jirachi, which will be able to kill this thing and win me the game, essentially. There's no way, a real way he's going to be able to win this. Um, 
with the Yamega alone, but he has a Magna Zone in the back, and I was basically forced to Fire Punch here, because if I switch my Jirachi out, I would just die to whatever move he uses the next time. And he goes to his Magna Zone. Now his Magna Zone here, what I was worried about is if you guys don't know, in DPP, these things carry Endure. Endure Custap. So what I was worried about here was that on this turn, I have no choice but to attack. That he would Endure and use Thunderbolt on me and weaken Jirachi so that my only way of beating his Yamega would be a paralyzed, weakened Rotom. That's not very good. However, it turns out he's not indoor, and as we're going to see, that's going to be the game. A very quick SPL game, if not very weird. I mean, when you're using Smeargle, Spiritomb, and Yamega, you know that you're really going off your rocker. That's a very odd team, very high risk. I'm sure this team would be very good at getting matchups against some of my usual stallish stuff. Maybe not even, though, because, I mean, he has the hazard, he has the anti-spinner, but... Marshall doesn't have that much for my clef, clef stall type of teams. I mean, I guess he has Titar. I don't know. He probably predicted me to use something far bulkier than I actually did. But um, we're just going to go ahead and call the game there, guys, because there's really not much else to say. He's going to go for the HP ground, I believe, but it's not going to be able to kill my Jirachi, and Fire Punch plus Sand is going to do him in. Very interesting team from Marshall. Very odd, but interesting. I, I kind of like the build. I thought it was interesting because Spiritomb is actually a really underrated mon in DPP, which I do aspire to use more. I plan to build some teams with it maybe in the future, both stall and balance, because I feel like I can have a use on both with Pursuit. But that's going to be the game, guys. Clocking in about seven minutes of time. I think that's going to be it. Um, this was actually my week four game. So this puts my overall SPL 7 record at 2-2. After a rough start of two losses, I bring it back with two wins in a row. And I hope to win out the rest of the season. Because now there's a week break without a SPL game. So it's going to be a time for me to recuperate. Build some teams maybe. Just lounge around without the pressure of having to build a new team for the week so that's gonna be it guys like the video if you enjoyed it uh obviously i will upload all my spl games win or lose and i'll probably be uploading some ddp olt playoff games because i'm almost sure i'm gonna be able to make the playoffs of that although don't jinx it of course but um that's gonna be it guys a short upload for today like if you enjoyed it subscribe all that stuff and i will see you on the next one Peace. Also, if you want to see more DPP, just ask, because this is the first DPP game I've uploaded in quite a while. And if you would like to see me narrate other SPL games, like not games that are not my own, although usually I think just narrating my own suffices, but you never really know. So, thank you guys for watching, and now I can say, finally, I will see you on the next one. Peace.